rioting in China, captured in amateur videos and posted on Chinese blogs and overseas websites like YouTube. Hundreds of residents in Guizhou's Wang'an County besiege a police station, China's official media reported. They burned cars and government buildings, later attracting thousands of onlookers and making news. Disturbances like these may not make news in any other country. But here they get magnified because China wants to present a picture of harmony just weeks before Beijing hosts the Summer Olympics. And because Chinese with grievances now refuse to be silenced. The residents' anger boiled over when local investigators concluded that 16-year-old Li Shufen had committed suicide by jumping in the river. Residents believe Li had in fact been raped and murdered by suspects related to senior local officials. They say the middle school student, now memorialized in a makeshift funeral parlor next to the river, is a victim of a cover-up by local officials. The police are taking sides, saying all those suspects are innocent, just because they all have backers. The victim doesn't have any backers, so they can suppress the whole thing. The girl's uncle says he tried to seek justice from the police. I cooperated with them by giving statements in order to investigate what happened that morning. But as I came out the police station, some people followed me and beat me up badly. I shouted, they're going to beat me to death, but no one came to help. The rioting escalated after police used force to disperse the hundreds of students who had rushed to the police station to petition about the girls' case, human rights groups say. Local officials say the rioters were simply misled by a small group of agitators. One day after the rioting, the streets of Wang'an County appear calm, but groups of armed police still guard the streets, just in case. Jaime Flor Cruz, CNN, Beijing.